there's lots of different things that we could do. So my ask to you is now knowing all of the different types of e-learning interactions that are out there. Like, what is the thing that we want to try to make together? Any thoughts, any ideas? So the idea is sort of like a whack-a-mole game where you click a stocking, like the cat pops up and you click the stocking to try and grab it, right? Um, but each time it reveals a lyric or something along those lines. It's really quite difficult. It's possible in a storyline, but I don't know if it's possible within the next... So basically a picture reveal is what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay, let's start with that. <laughs> and then let's let's start with that. Um, because I do like the idea of just a basic click to reveal, which is maybe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many stockings do we have? We have six. Let's add a seventh stocking. And then maybe we have the lyrics. And if we do the whack-a-mole cat, somehow we make it work. And if we can't, then that's okay. How's that? <laughs> Love it. That, okay. So I'm gonna have these stockings here. And of course, probably you all know this at this point, but you'll right click to um, ungroup them. And then we actually can actually play with each of these stockings. Um, and then also for the sake of just like, we don't need to be together all night long. I'm going to like delete the hardest ones from this. Feel free to uh, do that if you'd like as well. <laughs> I'm gonna just delete them though, because that seems too complicated. So. I've got my stocking like so, and I'm gonna zoom in and see what I've really got going on here. Um, this might be, okay. I'm gonna grab my palette. And if I was doing this in a good way, I would probably set up all my colors, but I don't have time to do that right now. So I'm gonna do the fast way, which is grab them. And so basically this, in and of itself is going to be like worth your time to learn and practice, which is how to change the colors of our vector images. So this probably needs to be ungrouped even further. So you can see now, oof, so many little pieces, right? So we've got like the little lines, we have these little um, pieces here. So maybe what I'll do is I'm just going to take my eyedropper tool and start to, um, you know, play around. Any color requests? Rudolph. You want Rudolph for the for the back? Cute. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Okay. How about for we'll probably want the background to be snow. Um, because that's we've got it's hmm? close maybe to the map and I like that. I'm sorry, Eric, what'd you say? I, I said the color that is there is very close to ginger snap. Ginger snap, yeah. Uh, I kind of like that. Oh, you're right. That's a great the eye, Eric. The color should be LPAT. Yep. Great. Is everyone doing this too? Nope. Are <laughs> just watching me? Yep. Okay. I am going to be completely honest with you. That looks close enough that I'm not going to fix it. Uh, that's me being a little bit on the lazy side. Feel free to follow suit <laughs> if you'd like. Fair enough. Okay, great. So I'm gonna maybe just select all of these and see if I can do like a mass. No, come on. Of course not. See how we could be here all night? We'll do the one Gail stopping. and I are living under the motto of just keep swimming. Yeah. I and you know what? This is actually, this is fascinating to me. So, yeah. It, is it? <laughs> yeah, because I got, you know, I got stuck on mine the other night. So this is gonna help lose some of the blockage. Oh. Totally. I'm sorry about stuff. No, no, that's okay. It's I, I get stuck every day at work. I might as well get stuck on homework too. Um, you know, it's just nothing is easy. No, it's not, and it's not even stuck. It's just that I need to learn something to take myself to the next level, which I'm very happy to do. So this is this is cool. Good. Okay. Well, if this isn't boring for you, I feel kind of bad making this be part of class. This isn't doesn't need to be the Kathy hour, but if you're learning something from it, then then good. I'm gonna delete that. Goodbye. Yeah, I didn't like that to begin with either. What was that? Oh. And then honestly, like if I were to get real into this, which I have to stop myself, but like I think some like little pops of white, you know, would be probably pretty cute with these dots. But I'm but I won't. 
but feel free to if you would like to. Okay, so far so good, looking good. What's really nice about this is that if we have the midnight, which is our kind of primary background color, all of these are still gonna look really nice, more as accents. I think, you know, the white background will look really great as well. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and change this little stringy thing, um, maybe for now to another one of my accent colors. Um, I don't know, maybe like fur for the time being. And you can see that fur is actually quite dark as well, which looks really nice. If anybody, I mean, kind of liked the music that was going. We can play some more. Like some subtle background music. It was so fun to have Christmas music. I'm yeah. Such a Scrooge and it was really fun. I love you guys so much. I've <laughs> been, I feel really like great. I feel like this is kind of like the kickoff of, of Christmas. So. Yo, I love that. I feel the same. Okay, so I'm gonna just regroup this. Everyone probably knows to do this, hopefully, but like. I'm going to take everything that I've just changed and then hit group so that way it like works it's like back together. Here's what happens if I don't do that. Like back. Ooh. Right? So be sure to regroup it once you uh ungroup it. Cool. Okay. And so then I'll just make a few little copies of this. I'll probably, you know, kind of move these little pieces around. At this point, everyone probably feels pretty good and comfortable about, you know, moving little things. Um, they, we won't want them to look the exact same. So, right, we kind of like reposition them a little bit. And then of course we have to add our seventh. So. So then I have each of these little shapes, right? If I were to bring this into Storyline as like one solid thing, I could do that, but it sounds to me like people wanna make a click to reveal interaction. So it'll be really important that we think about each of these little pieces as something that's actually like clickable and probably will want like a hover state. So each of these really should be kind of like its own little separate thing. So even though I've laid them out here, now that I'm realizing this, like I probably do want these all to be individual. Um, but what would make a lot of sense for me to bring in as like a single object together would be this little like garland hangy thing. And then maybe each of my, um, just so that I can kind of remember my positioning of each of these, like I'll bring in my little ties. So um, I'm going to hold that down, hold shift down and like select my ties. That in. And because my slide is roughly like the same size as Storyline, I mean it is, so I should be able to really, I'm going to group those. And I can't, it's been a little hot second since I've been in Storyline. Yeah, it brings it in as a vector. That's nice. <laughs> I just copied and pasted it in um, and it's a little bit yeah, cute, right? So we're going our way. And so you can still ungroup it now in storyline? I guess I probably can, huh? No, well, you can't. That's what, no. yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess I can't. Okay. <laughs> so I did, sorry, I don't I don't know. Um, but that's a great question. What just happened? Did I not regroup that? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> so that's bringing that in as an SVG too. Fine, fine. I guess I could probably, this is me like probably just doing the same work twice. So you'd want to bring them in each stocking individually because if you group them to bring them in, then you can't ungroup them. So can't ungroup them. Yeah. Um, so now if, if you use the import functionality and imported the PowerPoint slide into this, would they come in grouped or ungrouped or? So that's not something I ever do, but my inclination would be that it would come in as like a static flat image. Does anybody who okay. knows that? No, just curious. I don't know, but I would not recommend doing that. I wouldn't either. Okay. It's kind of like so maybe, a 
maybe sketch it out in PowerPoint and then just bring your images in the storyline so you can animate them. That's what I would do. I just think that like, you kind of, yeah, sketching it out. That's exactly how I, I would look at it. So like you did import like a, a, yeah, okay. For a GIF or something like that where you want to play them, but you wouldn't, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great question, y'all. Okay, so if this was kind of where we were going, and then if we wanted to sort of think about the idea that maybe down in like this part, going with like kind of more of our like 80-20 rule, like maybe down here is sort of where maybe our lyrics will pop up. I'm thinking, you know, just kind of thinking about that. Then we have each of these little stockings, which is its own. And so if you're in storyline, and because these all look the same, um, I am sloppy about this, but not in a case like this where they all look the same, it'll confuse me. So I would probably, honestly, what I would do is I would just say one, or I would say like stocking one, uh, come from the left to the right, because when I come over here to my trigger pane, I'm gonna grab this. And then all of a sudden, if I add a trigger to it, I have to select like, what do I want to have happen? So in this case, let's just say, I'm gonna show a layer, I don't have any, but when the user clicks stocking one, otherwise it's just gonna be vector three, vector four, vector five, vector six, and good luck, right? So this actually, I mean, again, I love cutting a good corner, um, but it's worth like your headache down the road to set all of these up. I'm wondering if a hover state for each of the stockings could have a little... Is that cat behind it? Yeah. Okay, I love that. Um, okay, so then we come back over here to our PowerPoint. We have our little kitty cat. Kitty cat is grouped, obviously, like on this large um, stack of luxury. I'm going to just like copy this maybe over here into my little like create mode. Um, what's that? That's not the cat. Come grab you, pop you in, and then see like, what are the pieces that I actually have to work with? And can this little cat in its current form, like does it, will it really work in the stocking? So I'm going to ungroup this and probably just like start deleting things to see like, what am I, what am I working with here? Okay, so I see little kitty. Can I maybe just like grab kitty's face? I'm gonna make another version of kitty. Um, and see right now I see it's little it's little pause maybe that's what I can do is I can take some of kitty no but I need your ear too <laughs> oh that would actually be cute poking out from the stocking yeah that was good. really cute um probably so you see I'm just like deleting little sections whatever these little fuzzies we don't really need either but that's probably gonna get complicated i will group you oh adorable do we want like two of its little paws like that or do we want yeah, that way he's hanging out from from the stocking he's oh, hanging on for dear life yeah, he's like hanging out of it he's like oh hello oh yeah okay um, oh, I'm back. Sorry. Oh, you found me. Yep. I love it. Okay. Great. I'm just, I don't know what these are, but they have to go. Okay. And then the cat is not in our brand colors, right? But we've got a ginger snap that's pretty darn close. Uh, the problem here is going to be our shading, which is going to be a little bit more complicated um so but close. is it worth it yeah is it worth it no no oh, it's actually two shades it's like not really that worth it does anybody feel like it's no. not that worth it you know no, how it would go the same family i agree okay <laughs> i'm gonna just like regroup you great oh but should the cat have a San santa hat on oh maybe how fun, that'd be so cute. I mean, right? So, sorry, I just, I feel like, yes. Let's go find the little Santa hat. It's not exactly the same vibe. I mean, I'm just gonna stick it on to see if it looks the corniest. I think it works almost. Change the colors. Maybe yeah. even Gotta change that to Rudolph. 
Yeah, and then these maybe, like, if, because thinking our background is, can it be like that or is that not okay? I don't think it's fun. contrast enough. I just feel like with our other background, it's gonna oh. look funny. It's gonna be like. What if we did like an image in the background of like a fireplace or something? Oh, here's my song. I love that. This time. Right. Yeah. Insert photos. Oh, Sorry, I'm. I forget that. You need that like I'm... the mantle. What was that on the first row? Maybe like this one, because it's kind of bland. This one, is that? Yeah. Is that the second one or the third one? Sorry. I don't know. This is not the one we liked. I, I think know. it's too busy. Yeah. Okie doke. What do you think? Uh, I, I honestly feel like simple like this would probably be best. Yeah. And then we can mess with it if we need to. Mm, can we get you in there without the stockings feeling like they're on fire? Not like, I don't think so. Well, you uh, can lower it, right? I could do what? Like make it lower. <laughs> you can make the stocking higher. Or could you could you blur it? Yeah. How would I do that? It's probably I'll up over here. Transparent. Make it transparent with another. You color. could go up to. You could go to the picture and go up to format, um, mm -hmm. picture, and then, oh, recontrast color brightness. Any of those on the left, even um. What do you color think? Also, recolor might give you, and then you can do transparent there as well. So Where's transparent? The very bottom. And oh. you could probably, um, oh. What does that show? That would well, make one of the colors in the image transparent. I don't think that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I normally you can, you can make it more transparent. I don't know about the storyline. I do in PowerPoint all the time. Okay, I know this is why I'm like, ah, I feel like I need to go back to my PowerPoint. I know it's, I just don't understand. Yeah, maybe How put the it. picture in PowerPoint behind. Nice. And now it, this is my comfort more, zone. Yeah, <laughs> and then <laughs> color or, yeah, color or, our, or transparency or, yeah. Oh. I was thinking artistic effects and blur. Okay. Artistic effects might work right there in the middle. Yeah. Which one is blur? I think it's <laughs> like Gail said. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's there's a blur. I don't know oh. that I'm. Oh, I like the. Oh. You like film grain? No, not the one right before that because it looked a little bit like a drawing. Oh, because... I love that. Yeah. I think that'd yeah. be kind of cool. Cool. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Let's just. Okay. Let's just keep it because it's done. Do we want to put any kind of like color on it or anything? Or are we good with that? See how the stockings look when they come in in front of it, maybe. Great idea. Because there'll be a lot of color in that. Put you in the back. It's coming together. I feel like it's not exactly completely right. idea can we just keep up <laughs> okay thank you um great do we i do also the one thing i do think that we need to do though is like kind of make this like a little bit lighter maybe not like that but like um because we are going to want to see what it is that we're actually like yeah. working with right i don't think it's that but i think it's something like that yeah i i get what you're saying because we want to look at these things Okay, let's just, let's go with this for now. And then we have our, uh, I'm gonna ungroup this so that I can start to play with them again. Great, I have this, I have this, cool. 
Who knows people? about states? People feel they know about states. Always yeah. been to yes. Visited okay. on yeah, hovered. Mm -hmm. Um the other thing that I'm thinking about as I'm thinking about all of this out loud is we had our that just looks so nice. I feel like I've messed things up with my extra white thing here. Just reset oh like a like semi transparent that? like white color box on top. Sorry. We're the same, Kathy. I could do this for hours. The old hack. I'm sorry if anybody doesn't enjoy this. I will. You feel free to drop off at any time. I know, Eric, but this is just, this is what you do. This is I how see. we. It's my fault, Thanks. but it's so good to like see it and learn it. Well, that's good. That's getting better. It is, and now it, we can bring that to the back because see my layers? Yeah. There it, there it is. Yeah, it's coming together. Oh, no, good, good enough. How's that? It's good enough, okay? Yes. Okay, um, so now what we have is basically like our base slide. And then we also just, I'm gonna bring this in so that I have my colors in here. I'm gonna put them over to the left or to the right. Um, we had talked about doing the lyrics sort of like on the bottom. Um, so thinking about maybe what that might look like, we have a few options over here, you know. So you're, info. sorry, I'm getting excited. So please interrupt me if anyone else wants to chime in, but I but I like your script with the box at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do with that? Maybe that's what the uh, lyrics could sort of look like. Okay, I like that. I'm going to put that there just so that I know what I'm kind of working toward. Um, I like it. OK, cool. So the lyrics would come in at the bottom. The bottom or because of the fire, maybe they could go at the top because of all that white space. I don't know. I usually like them better at the bottom, but you've got that whole section of white space at the top. You make great points. Maybe you could also we pull up white space and crop it so it's just the manhole without the white space. Could you move the whole interaction down a little bit? Yeah. Like that? I was just thinking of taking off, just making it just the mantle rather than the white wall. Um, I That's about really... The opposite, Gail, actually. If, if, because we cropped a lot of the top of that image. If we uncropped the top of the image and moved everything down a little bit, then we'd have more white space at the top. We could be like a little decoration above the fireplace, maybe. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, I love all this. I am losing a little bit of steam. So if we want to get to the interaction part, like, can we yeah. Uh, just do it. Maybe just it. not be perfectionistic about a couple of these things. I'm so that sorry. Sounds perfect. Okay. Sounds perfect. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for this. Is why my work always looks like it does. Because I was like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can make it work, and then I'm gonna forget about all this detail, and that's why everything always ends up feeling so sloppy. <laughs> This is driving me bonkers, this but you guys, I'm like, I, I can't right now. I can't. Um, <laughs> Good, in, good enough is what Perfect. we're shooting. We're learning. Okay, great. So I'm going to lock a couple of these things that I don't want to move around. So I'm going to click lock and unlock like so. And so now, like as I'm moving things, I didn't lock those because I want to play with them, but I can not mess with my background in this instance. And again, please note this is an issue. <laughs> okay. Cool. And then just again, for the sake of just like uh, really wanting to wrap it up, sorry, I'm going to just make an executive call with my little box down here. And Eric, I loved your idea. Let's uh, see what it looks like in blue and get rid of this little outline. Uh, no outline. Let's just do that. Cool. Ugh, don't do that. Something like so. Oh God, this is the thing. This is the problem. Stop it. Stop it. 
It's, I, I'm giving you a lot of props right now. It's so hard to do this when people are watching. Yeah, I know, I'm like, have an audience. This is hard. We just want to see the functionality. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Okay, cool. Awesome. Here we go. This is where our lyrics are going to go. And as you all know, you can type directly in boxes, right? So maybe just, I'm going to just lay this out really fast, which is our first lyric, which is, uh, I don't want a lot for Christmas. I'm just going to copy that in. And then I'm going to come over here to storyline. And then obviously I've got some formatting issues here. So this is really helpful for those who aren't as familiar with how to deal with this kind of thing is to right click, format shape, come to text box. Then I have options over here, very similar to how I have them in um, PowerPoint. So the, you know, I don't want to auto fit. I don't want that. I mean, I guess it looks fine as it is. I like to have these kind of like all cool, uh, just to have everything kind of centered and then we'll do um, middle, that looks, that looks okay. Um, I will increase my font size and then that was- um, Homemade apple. Thank you. Cute. Oh, that's a really nice script font. <laughs> this one has made me really change my mind about scripts. Okie dokie, um, cute. Great, and that's not gonna be up first, right? That's probably gonna be on like on a cover state or a click trivial, but like we'll keep it there uh, for the time being. Fantastic. I'm sorry that everybody's probably just like getting so bored of this. Um, but we have five left, so let's keep going. Um, so we now want states, we now want uh, to basically be able to click this, right? And have, we want to have the cat pop out when we hover. Is that what we want? Just for the interest of time, I think that works great. Okay, great. So we're gonna edit states, add a state. We want this to be a hover state, click add. So this is basically showing me this is you know what we have over here. I'm gonna just grab my little cat, come over here. I'm so, going to copy so. this whole thing in and see if that'll paste. I'm gonna Oh, very cute. Uh, okay, something like so. It's not, <laughs> not totally perfect, but like very cute, right? Um, and so then we hover it and that's going to appear. I'm gonna let it go. Um, and then done editing states. Do we, um, then when we click, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can do them on layers or you can do them on selected states. Um, probably what I would recommend doing is a layer and we'll call this a uh, lyric one. We're going to pop that onto the timeline, which is basically saying it's going to directly superimpose itself on top of everything else. Um, did you see that that bounced a little bit? That's a storyline quirk. Um, and so now also I'm gonna come over here. This is our object. So I have a hover state. I'm going to add my my trigger now. So my action is that I want it to show layer. I want it to show lyric one. When the user clicks, stocking one, that's correct. And then no matter what, I've got my little hover state. So then this is gonna come up like so. Um, great. Let's just see um, what it looks like so far. So I'll come over here to preview this slide. Okay, that looks actually really good. Like, I like that. Um, and now, moment of truth. Oh, there he is. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. And now I want to grab him, right? But I guess it's because I'm still hovering, right? So then I click and then this lyric comes on. But then as I move, you know, we can do that same effect for each of the stockings. And as I click each of them, um, this can change. Lyric. Yeah, the lyric can change. So that's how you would do your request. I love it. Thank Thoughts? you. That was really that's amazing, Kathy. Oh my God. Yeah, that's so helpful, even though you're like, I mean, just to walk us through the pieces and the sizing and the coloring is so helpful. When I learned like what you could really do with Hubler States and Storyline, then it was a game changer. Like instead of just, changing the color or just, you know, 
adding a border or a drop shadow, you know, there's a lot you can do. And I really like that you demonstrated that. I'm still, I'm still miss, I have to play in it more. It's still always been a little bit of a missing piece. I get the layers and I get, you know, the, click the, the missing pieces on the hovers. They're easier than I think I thought they were, but they still need some finessing. So what's the instructional text on it? I mean, there is none. We can totally add them. But you just them. put like, click to hear the song and then you'd like have... We probably have saying. to think through it a little bit more as far as directing them to click in the right order. Right. Yeah. That okay, that's okay. Yeah. Um, no, so I'll make that my homework to think through. Totally. So if I didn't want to get in trouble for like copyright stuff on a song and we really were to use this, like I think what could be really cool is like if if i were to think about the interaction here maybe when you like appear on the slide it's like the mariah carey beginning where it's like dun 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 like what you know dun 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 and then maybe the instructional text comes in and it's like select each stocking to sing along and then on stocking one i play it and then i hear i don't want a lot for christmas and then like it ends and then maybe I come to stocking two and then you hear the entire song actually like play out in that way. I think that would be really, really fun. And the way that you would do that is um, just by adding, you know, audio clips basically to each of these um, slide lyrics. Um, so each of these slides. So right here, there's nothing on my timeline, right? But if I were to put like a little something here and maybe because there is, I'm just, if you can stick with me for like, two more seconds just because I feel like this is part of the challenge and it may be helpful. That's more my seat. Okay, we'll download this and then we have our like little audio clip. So I'm gonna come over here, um, import. So I will insert. Audio to the right. Right, right there. there it is. Audio from file. And then on my downloads, pop that in. Great, and see it like obviously spans this entire timeline is like really, really long. But if I right click it, then I can edit my audio. And this is what you would do. Like if you had the entire song, maybe I just want like, so I can come over here, I'll play it. Like, let's just say it's that, right? And then, um, I want only you. Get out of here. I like, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna they're probably audio. cut that. What? Their their audio editing tool is not the best. Oh I oh, I got rid of that. That's not You can undo it up there. <gasps> I just want this part. How do I just go right crop to it? the right of the blue? Yeah. Yeah. Or you can just Oh, save it. No, you, yeah. But I think I, I have it though, right? Did it? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. But then. What? Do we need to fix something on that slide layer or are you gonna show the problem? Like the end of the timeline. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Let's show the problem. And the problem is? The music will stop and the lyrics will still be there. But there's a cat. <laughs> but then like, it's, it's actually fine in this case, Eric, because we don't yeah. have the play bar. But if we had the play bar on the slide, which I is kind of sometimes nice, you know? Um, player defaults, custom, let's go ahead and like, I guess it's called the seat bar in this case. Um, what will happen is if I preview this slide, it'll just go on forever and ever. Like this will be very, very long, I think. See, it's like starting to play, but like nothing's happening. Yeah. And then it's just an issue. So first of all, I think not including that will be nice. And then yeah, Eric, to Eric's point, come over, coming over here and then just like, is there an easier way than dragging, Eric? No, that's what I do. Okay, I just drag uh, very slowly and then make it like my five seconds or whatever it is. Um, 
So there we go. Um, cute, right? Another thing that you could do is you could set up a trigger that after the music ends, after the media ends on this slide, maybe we duplicate this. We call this, you know, lyric two. And then this all of a sudden becomes whatever our other lyric is, which is uh, here. There's just one thing I need. Come over here to storyline. Oh. Why? Okay. Um, great. We can set up like an auto play. So on lyric one, maybe there's a trigger that says show layer, uh, layer two, when, and then we pick what the thing is. So in this case, maybe it's like it the is. media okay. completes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Audio one. And that's that one. So let's just see, you know, what does that wind up looking like? Just out of curiosity. And a lot of this is just trial and error. It's just playing and being like, does this work? No. Usually it's nope. And then you try again. Um, <laughs>